Guys, what's going on? Crypto Marco here. So Bitcoin has been going ham recently and um, FOMO is getting back into the market. People want to invest one more time. And many of you asked the question, should I still invest in Bitcoin? Now, in this video, I'll take a look at the market. Then I will tell you my personal strategy on Bitcoin and whether or not, not you should right now buy Bitcoin. Um, and afterwards, we're going to take a look at the most important stuff that has happened in the past few hours, because basically I do every few hours a video. I do a video once a day. So if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below, because among everybody who's commenting, I am giving away a small amount of enchanted Litecoin. So good luck. And as you can see today, now Mithril has been going so goddamn ham in the past bitcoin private is up there golem is up there and to be honest it doesn't look like there's any coin that is like on the losing spectrum right now we can see that the market cap has increased like super 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 crazy from 270 billion to 330 billion a few hours ago like 60 billion us dollars have entered the market in a matter of like almost hours um, we can also see Bitcoin <laughs> like this shot is just completely insane. And we're going to talk about that very soon. But what else is interesting is, is that Verge is mooning. Verge is going crazy, doubling in value over time. And the question, of course, that many people are asking themselves is why is that happening? Should you invest? Now, let's talk about that. But before I go into it, so first of all, we have all over the news people talking about the rally of Bitcoin. Now, there are many. Uh, theories out there with what has caused this rally so there's talk of you know end of tax season george soros um ripple partnering up with santander europe investing 300 million us dollars in crypto um many uh short orders have been cancelled um and one more theory that i have found out recently is that according to a so-called mufti very important person in the islamic religion bitcoin is not haram bitcoin is actually okay so bitcoin is halal and um, very interesting for me to see is that on the 9th of april there was already reuters um, reporting about this and then we see this yes was issued yesterday on crypto globe and we see this is the original press release which has been released on the 12th of april initially this was written on the 10th of april but the paper where sharia analysis of bitcoin cryptocurrencies and blockchain has been done has been published on the 5th of april and lastly revised on the 4th of april now when you, as you know me, I am re really thorough when it comes to my research. Um, when people look at the price of Bitcoin, they really want to pretty much narrow it down to a single reason. Like there can't be multiple news um, going in together and creating this kind of euphoric atmosphere where, you know, it's very lucrative for many people to invest in the cryptocurrencies. But in my opinion, this is just what has happened. So we have seen, first of all, we have seen like many factors come together. Like it's not only that like one certain news article is linked to that. Like, of course, it could be that George Soros like pressed the button and uh, everything went up. It could be that the Ripple uh, partnering Ripple partnering up with uh, St. Andrew and enabling Bitcoin prices um, cost this. It could also be that all the canceled uh, short orders um, could be the reason. And also could be that from one second to the other, millions of Muslims all of a sudden were like, yes, finally, it's it's finally OK to invest in Bitcoin, but still. I don't think that any of these news events is the sole reason for this um, up for this ex extreme development in Bitcoin. Now, when you want to trade any type of currency, not even cryptocurrency, but any type of currency, in my opinion, it's really important to 
not only no technical analysis but also the fundamentals and uh, depending on the time frame that you want to trade on it will become more and more important to know what the market is you're dealing with for example bitcoin the fundamentals look, look great um, and they have been looking great for a long time um, transaction time is fast uh, transaction fees are low lightning network is getting along and still the price was really low but now all of a sudden we see this skyrocketing even though nothing in particular happened so in my opinion you know of course it is impossible to just use technical analysis to predict something like an extreme development like this. But still, you have to take in every single factor into your analysis and at the end of the day, know when to pull the trigger when you do your move. Basically, what I see here is that, as I said earlier, many factors came together. All of a sudden, Muslims worldwide worldwide were able to purchase uh, the Bitcoin and what as I said earlier it's really interesting to me that this um, article has been published on the 5th of April but yet the news came out on 12th of April and that's pretty much um, when everything happened and um, I, I uploaded my video on uh, the Bitcoin price going high uh, on the bull run and I was really curious because at the time I was not sure what was the reason why Bitcoin price went up like that so fast and afterwards I read an article like um, where somebody said like hey Marco um, Muslims are now allowed to purchase Bitcoin so millions of Muslims all of a sudden are uh, flooding the market with their money um, and that of course sounded to me really very really like plausible but when I looked up when the first article on that was issued it was like 13 hours ago like 13 hours before this pump happened so in my opinion linking it just to this fact um, is mm, I don't know I don't know really nobody can really tell you why the price shot up that fast but in any case um, this only shows you one more time how important it is to do your really thorough research and how many factors together uh, can be important to have your stop loss at a good time and as you can see this is what was pretty much written in the paper in Germany Bitcoin is recognized as a legal currency and therefore qualifies as Islamic money in Germany in countries such as US Bitcoin lacks official legal monetary status but is accepted for payment at a variety of merchants and therefore qualifies as Islamic customary money how However, there are where in uh, in countries where Bitcoin is prohibited, it's still haram, so you can't actually use it to pay. Um, but this is pretty much, I guess, if a well-renowned mufti who remember who like learned the whole Quran by heart says something like that, I guess that many people in the Muslim community and they are 1.8 billion on the whole planet now have the confirmation that it is okay to invest in Bitcoin and the floodgates that are, are open. Put on top of that, George Soros being launched on Bitcoin, put on top of that, um, many uh, many uh, short orders being canceled, many people getting their hands burned and you have like really a melting pot of different reasons and all of these together cause a chain reaction and that when that chain reaction unloads, that's what we see. So interesting stuff and I hope I, got, I, I explained this to you a little bit clearer. I hope you understand it right now. Um, so as you can see, this uh, news about uh, cryptocurrencies being okay for uh, people of the Islamic religion has been all over the place. And what I, what I, something else that I found really interesting is uh, this, this uh, Reddit threat. So somebody is saying two to three months ago, if such a pump came, people would have shouted end of bear market moon lambo and so on now we see discussions about leverage shorts manipulation skepticism toward the pump and overall constructive thinking this shows how much the average investor has matured and that the dumb money might have really left really proud of this sub and i'm glad i joined it so that's something that's also really interesting to me um right now we're not as euphoric as we used to be in december and january so i really have the feeling that the market has matured a little bit more and uh, that's something really interesting that i simply observed For, furthermore we have a uh, talk off about verge so verge um ask the community for money got hacked doesn't want to tell us what verge is partnering up with um you know the ceo has some dodgy threats going on because he has to pay his taxes back and his coinbase account is like 
banned and the, the thread is not anymore up he deleted it so guys um while i i know i made videos about verge and verge did look good to me and it still looks good to me as a project um right now i'm not sure if i would invest in verge to be really honest because all this hype around verge is getting really weird like when i first initially saw verge when John McAfee was pumping it, I, I was really skeptical about it. But then as I looked into it, I was like, okay, this is a great mature project. And now since the hack and, um, you know, asking the community for donations to announce what they are partnering with, like those are really just, just fishy things in my opinion. So um, people have been asking me what I get into Verge, like at the moment, not really uh, far too much uh, volatility in there and what if the, the partnership that they announced isn't that great? So um, there are other opportunities, in my opinion, which are better in the market. Um, furthermore, in Hanover from the 23rd to the 24th, IOTA will be doing a tech demo on robotics. Can't wait to see that coming. And guys, I wish you a great weekend and thank you really much for watching. So today I won't do a giveaway because from next week on, we will do a giveaway only once a week. So from next week on, I'm going to do um, basically the giveaway only on Fridays. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can still comment, of course. I will see how I will change the raffle, but somehow we will make it happen. And thank you very much for watching. Keep in mind that everything in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. And be really careful when you invest in crypto. Um, you should only invest money that you're you're like not that doesn't hurt you when you lose it. So only money you're comfortable with and be really cautious with that. Be really responsible and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.